I'm Danielle. And I'm Lillian. And we are the, the Ghostly Sisters. Sisters. Wait, how are you guys sisters? You're boys. Brothers. <laughs> Tonight, we will be playing the Sandman game, also known as the Sandbag game. Ooh. Mm. Scary. Look at them. <laughs> Um, with us tonight is our baby sister, Aubrey. Aubrey, and our cousins, Lila, Sophia, Nick, Andres, and our cousins from Challenge Universe, Ariana, <laughs> Christian, Alexander. A link to that channel will be in the description box below. In this game, you will need two participants, similar to the cat scratch game. Um, one telling the story and the other lying on the ground. Since we don't want to exclude any of our guests, one will be lying on the floor waiting for the Sandman to drag them underground. While you tell them the story, tell them to only concentrate on your words. Yes, because when the storyteller mentions the body parts, they will lightly touch each part of the body that is being mentioned so the story can come to life. At the end of the story, advise the person lying on the ground to open their eyes and stand up. When they attempt to stand, they will feel weighed down. Every limb and body part will feel, feel as though it's filled with sand. Ooh, mm. creepy. Mm. So, sandy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Who's going to be the human sacrifice? Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Yes, it's going Now we have a volunteer. They will lay on the ground and we will circle around them. Now let the story begin! Okay, we are ready to start the story. Christian, I need you to follow my voice, listen to my words, and concentrate on the story. One night you were up late. Everyone in your home had gone to sleep. As you were sitting on your bed, alone in your room, you began to hear faint knocking coming from your closet door. At first you thought it might be your imagination, but then the sound became louder and louder. Just when you thought you would run and yell for your mom to come, the noise stopped. At this point, you were laying in bed with the blankets over your head, hoping that the noise wouldn't return, ready to slip out of, out of the blankets just in case it did return. You are silently listening, waiting for you to feel safe again. Suddenly, you hear your floor creak, footsteps Come closer. You want to run, yell, scream for someone to help, but you cannot move. Your body is frozen with fear. Just then, you feel the blanket slowly peeling off of your still body. You open your eyes and you are stu struck with dread. Although you can see, you cannot move or yell. You are paralyzed. There, standing over you, is the Sandman with the longest, sharpest, sand-made fingernails. He has no expression on his face. He moves slowly as he slits open your arms and begins to pack piles of sand into them, then cuts open your stomach and does the same. Finally, he slits your cheeks and pours endless amounts of sand into them. You feel the sand move from your cheeks into your mouth and filling your entire body, limbs, and head until you can feel the sand pour out of your ears. The Sandman begins to slowly stitch every opening out of your body, beginning with the slits he created. Once he is done, he leaves and is gone, disappearing into the darkness. Okay, try to get up. You okay? Here, yeah, get up. How are 
are you feeling? Do you think you feel like a tingling feeling inside like sand? Like you know mm -hmm. how you feel when your feet fall asleep? Do you feel like it's going all over your body? Yeah. So, oh. how did you feel hearing the story? When you're like imagining it. Yeah. Maybe yeah, like, 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 like describe how, how it felt. When the sandman was on me, uh -huh. like I couldn't move. Okay, so there you have it. We did the Sandman challenge. Um, Christian said that he felt very heavy and it was hard for him to get up and like this tingling sensation was going through him throughout. So, hope you guys like this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the Ghostly Sisters.